Hey guys, welcome back to another regular dude fishing video. I uh, apologize in advance for the wind noise. It's going to be windy. We are on the riverbank uh, in one of our favorite uh, catfish holes. It's not super cold, but it's still pretty chilly. And we got a big cold front coming in. So we're going to be trying to get out today and catch a couple uh, while it's sunshiny up here on the flat flats of the fish. So, so far, I just got out here a little bit ago. Got my buddies Ron and Greg. And uh, we'll get Greg over there to pick up his fish. He, he caught a nice one, a uh, nice blue, a little while ago that he got in. Uh, we're using Skipjack for bait. We are directly across the river from uh, AK Steel in Ashland, Kentucky. On the, we're on the Ohio side. Get a picture of Greg's blue cat here. I'd say she'd go five or six pounds anyway. Like I said, this is going to be, we're going to do the best we can as far as, uh, that's a good one, man. Nice looking blue. Those are perfect eating size. That's what we're after. That's for sure. But it's going to be windy in this video. And uh, she straightens the hook. Yeah. Bent this hook. So I'm going to get rigged up. I got my stuff there. Uh, I'll show you how I rig one of my favorite catfishing rigs. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get going here. So, I'll catch up with you in a second. Alright, my first rig that I'm using is, uh, it's got a three-way. I'm using 65-pound braid, and this is a 40-pound mono. Uh, I tied, and I just use clinch knots pretty much to tie everything. So, oh, my rod fell down. Hang on, bear with me. So, I got a three-way swivel on here with my main tied to one, and then... Uh, straight down from my main line, I got my leader line tied, and I got it down to an uh, eight dot, eight dot circle hook there. And we're using skipjack, and like I said, I just use uh, clinch knots for all this. Uh, right here, I've got a large swivel snap on the uh, the uh, outrunner side of the three-way swivel, so that I can add or remove. Uh, weight as I need to whether it's too much current or too much wind I can either take away or add to it uh, using this big uh, this big swivel uh, this big swivel latch here this is a trick that I learned from uh, Chris Souders he's a champion cat fisherman and I'll leave a link to his channel uh, down below he's got some great tips and he catches some awesome fish man so I'll leave a link to his channel this is a trick that I learned from him He's got a video on uh, his rigs and stuff, and uh, it, it really has helped me out. So that's uh, that's one of the rigs that I'm using today. Let me get the other one tied up, and I'll show it that one to you. All right, my second rig here that I got, I've got just a flat weight tied on to the end of my line. And I'm not quite sure what these rigs are called. Uh, I think this is some sort of a modified Kentucky rig. And then uh, at the end of my at the end of my main line, I've got my flat weight tied. And then on there, I've got a a, a leader tied off with a, a surgeon's knot, I believe it's called. And then at the end of my little leader, I've got a seven knot circle hook that's just tied with a double clinch. And like I said, I hope I'm getting all this in the camera. But the rig itself is a different bait presentation. And this keeps it up into the current. As, the, as your sinker sinks down to the bottom, this will sink out and be in the current. It's going to be a little difficult to tell whether or not we're going to bite today uh, because of the wind. It's pretty rough, but that's not going to stop us. We're going to we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. So we're going to get our lines in the water now. I have a buddy Ron hooked into something there. Let's we'll see if we can get it through here without all the logs in the way. Let me get my camera around over here different angle hopefully it's another nice blue cat there's Ron the legend y'all remember Ron from when he was tearing up them bass in that other video down at the dam well, I guess uh, Louie's the legend yeah we sure wish we could get some of our buddies from the dam to come out here catfish with us Oh, 
what we got. Got a train in the background. Oh, it's another blue. Nice. That's what we were hoping for. Good job, Ron. Looks like about a three or four pounder. Maybe go five, depending on how fat. Excellent. Yeah, man. He's down in there. Pick him up. difficult to fish sometimes but I had to put more weight on mine because it's hard to keep tension on the line whenever uh, whenever the wind's blowing your line that's a good one buddy yeah look at that fat belly yeah. they're feeding so anyway like I say all the wind makes it hard to keep the tension on your line it makes it hard to uh, to detect whether or not you're getting a hit so I put, put some more weight on there and what we're hoping is these shallow mud flats that are coming up through here that uh, when the, while the sun's out warming up the colder water they'll be up in here feeding so so far so good anyway anyway if anything else happens we'll get back on all right i got something on here doesn't feel very big i'm getting my camera adjusted here I'm sorry if i'm running away here Still trying to figure out this new camera setup and how to get decent shots. Well, not quite as big as the other ones. It's like a little old channel cat. Yep. Hopefully it's in the shot. Their channel. I'm not a big fan of eating the channel cats. And my gloves hooked. We're gonna turn him loose. Get my hook out of him. There we go. Alright, little buddy. Look at him. Come back in there and go out, go out a little ways. Oh, you're swimming the wrong way. There you go. All right. And he's gone. Let's get re rigged and see if we can get another one. Well, I got something else here. I don't know what it is. It doesn't feel very big. But it's a fish. We got the skunk off our back earlier. And we're really just out here enjoying the day before we get it. We just come out of deer season hunting and butchering deer. Now we're just enjoying a little bit of off time before we get into trapping season. So we're just, uh, like I said, enjoying the day here. Love the river, man. You never know what you're gonna drag out of here. Wind is kind of uh, fighting us today as far as casting and being able to keep tension on our lines, but we're still catching a few. Feels like he's trying to pull me into a log jam there. size fish sometimes when you can feel them getting to them logs and them little brush piles if you just kind of give them a second they can work themselves out for you Let's see what we got here coming up looks like another another bigger channel cat anyway 
little bit bigger channel cat. Fighting on a skipjack head. And like I said, I'm not a huge fan of eating the channel cats. I don't really prefer the taste. I'd rather eat a blue cat or a flathead. So we're gonna put him back in the river. Thank you, Mr. Catfish. Hope I didn't wear you out too much. Come on, buddy. All right. He is gone. Well, let's get rebaited, see if we can't catch another one. I've still got some fish in the freezer, so I'm not hurting for any kind of fish right now. Like I said, we're just uh, enjoying the day on the river. managed to catch a few and uh, enjoy some nice time on the river the wind was a little rough on us today but uh, it was still a great time any time on the river is a great day in the outdoors uh, thanks to you guys very much for watching uh, thank you very much to Souders Catfishing uh, I hope I say your name right it's uh, Ollie Blake your ringing video helped me catch fish today man so I really appreciate it uh, we'll get more next time guys so until the next time we'll see you in the next video Fishing!